This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given an isosceles triangle split up into three regions, and it wants us to find this green area. We also know this length, this length, and this area, and this area. And this is the midpoint of the base. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, we're given it's an isosceles triangle, and I'm assuming these are the two congruent sides. I ended up constructing this part of a circle to verify that. So these are the two congruent sides of the isosceles triangle. From here, we can mark the midpoint on the base. And from this midpoint, let's construct the perpendicular bisector. In every isosceles triangle, if you're going from the base, the perpendicular bisector is equal to the median, which is equal to the altitude, which is equal to the angle bisector. So this purple segment is all four of those things. Let's label the length of it X. And then since it is an angle bisector, we know that this angle is equal to this angle. Let's label them both alpha degrees. We're trying to solve for this green area, and now we've split it up into two triangles. So if we can find the areas of these triangles, we can solve this thing. Unfortunately, they're not right triangles, and it's gonna be tricky to find the height, but we can use this formula. According to this sine area formula, the area of any triangle is one half times one side times another side times the sine of the angle in between them. And this will work on any triangle, even if it isn't a right triangle. So let's take our two green triangles and copy them down here. Let's label this area D and this area E. Now we can say D is equal to one half times 30 times X times the sine of alpha. And then E would be equal to one half times 23 times X times the sine of alpha. So these two areas have a lot of stuff in common. They both have a one half an X and a sine alpha. We can really simplify this if we look at the ratio of the two areas. On the left hand side we just have D over E and on the right hand side the one half and the one half will cancel each other out. And the same thing for these two X sine alphas. They will also cancel each other out. So now we know the ratio of the areas D over E is equal to 30 over 23. And now that we know this relationship there's some S such that D will equal 30 S and E will equal 23 S. And now we got to try to find that S. We should be done with this, this, the X, and let's copy these two areas up here. And now we're done with this. Now we can write a formula for the green area. It would be 23S plus 30S. And 23S plus 30S is 53S. This looks important, let's put a box around it. And let's move it down here. And now we need some equations so we can solve for S. In an isosceles triangle, the perpendicular bisector off the base also cuts the area in half. So this left side is equal to the right side. Or in other words, 380 plus 23 3s is equal to 308 plus 30s. And now we have one equation in terms of one variable. Let's solve for s. First, we can subtract 23s from both sides, and let's subtract 308 from both sides. On the left-hand side, these will cancel each other out, and on the right-hand side, these will cancel each other out. 380 minus 308 is equal to 72, and that'll be equal to 30s minus 23s, which is 7s. Let's smush everything together and divide both sides by 7. And now we have our value for s. It's equal to 72 over 7. And we are ready to plug that into our formula. Let's break this out of the box and give ourselves some room. And in the place of the s, let's plug in 72 over 7. And now we can do this times this divided by 7. And that'll give us 3,816 over 7. Or as a mixed number, that's 545 and 1 7. And now we have the answer to our question. Let's give each of these a label of square square units and put boxes around them. In this given diagram, the green area is equal to 545 and 1 seventh square units. How exciting. If you like solving puzzles like the one we did in this video, Brilliant has you covered. It's basically the perfect training ground. They have thousands of lessons across math, data analysis, sciences, programming, and AI. And everything is hands-on and interactive. It's the most effective way to learn. You really understand the concepts instead of just memorizing some notes. One thing I really love about Brilliant is you never get stuck wondering what should I do next. Brilliant walks you through each concept one step at a time. And if you ever need a gentle nudge, the hints and explanations are just a click away. Math lovers will especially enjoy the courses in geometry, algebra, calculus, and probability. And they have tons more fun courses in all the topics. To try Brilliant, visit brilliant.org slash andymath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.